The city of Atlanta mistakenly tore down this man's house in 2017, now it's seizing his land to pay for demolition costs. The contract is to complete the de demolition of 311 Lawton Street, even though the demolition order said Lawton Avenue. The wrong address was just one of the city's many mistakes when it came to Everett Tripodi's investment property. He said the city initiated the demolition in 2016 because a 2014 inspection found issues with his back door. You don't wait two years to tell someone, hey, two years ago I inspected your house and the door was unsecure, so now we're gonna demolish your house. They had my phone number, they had my email address, they had my physical address, because I had registered the property with Atlanta's vacant property registration department. After that, the home was inspected by code enforcement about three other times since 2014. They were all saying the same thing. The grass was too high or there was trash in the yard. The deficiencies were immediately corrected, immediately. We never had a code enforcement conviction. There was never a fine. The code violation notice about his missing back door was sent to a non-existing address and was automatically returned by the post office. He was never made aware of the inspection or the demolition. Whenever there is a, a, a proceeding dealing with the demolition, the owner has a right to be present and a right to speak and present evidence. You also have a right to fix the matter within a certain period of time. We never received notice of the hearing. We never received notice that they're even contemplating a demolition. There's no way for us to be present. The demolition documents have multiple inaccuracies. They refer to the address as 311 Lawton Avenue and set code 30314. But Tripodi's property is 1.4 miles away on 311 Lawton Street, zip code 30310. The property owner's name was also wrong several times. One day, I have a contractor coming to um, evaluate the hardscapes. When I got there, all I saw was rubble. It was completely gone. When I climbed up the dirt, I couldn't believe it. This has been just devastating for me and my family. All the hard work, all the labor is just gone. Now, while Tripodi's lawsuit against the city still remains in limbo, he's getting charged for the cost of the demolition plus interest. A gentleman comes to my house with a um, complaint and a summons and tells me that I'm being sued. The irony is of this is that the city can find me when they want to sue me to pay for the demolition, but they can't find me to give me notice of the demolition. Not only is the city not taking responsibility for the mistaken, erroneous, illegal, unlawful demolition, but they want me to pay for it. They've charged me $68,000 in change to pay for their mistake. And they're telling me that if I don't pay, they're gonna auction the property off and essentially take the property. Tripodi's works as a litigation specialist for a law firm that he says mainly handles real estate issues. He alleges that he's not the only victim. This is not a just random act here. The city is aggressively targeting particular zip codes in Atlanta that are gentrifying, where the property values are shooting through the roof, where the city is set to benefit from the land grab. I'm just one small guy who's fighting a huge municipality with lawyers with an unlimited budget and unlimited resources, but I'm not giving up and I'm not going out without a fight.